Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is D Sparrow's Journey. We are back to ranks. I have a thing or two to learn how to rule a kingdom. Definitely. More like not one or two, but one thousand. Teach me, Senpai! There are people out there surviving something like 50 years or even 200 years, I think it's the record, in ranks. I want to do something like that. That's gonna be my challenge from now on, reaching more than 40 ish years. My max is currently 28. Let's see if you can go over that. The thing is, and before I start, I always try to have my own decisions with my personality and be the king I want to be, but I can't because the game forces you to take choices so that you don't lose the game. And not only you need your stats to not go below zero, but they can never reach their max. That's something I'll learn from you. I want to visit our godless neighbors. Except if you need me in here. Who's this? Brados of Port Seed. This is the wicked, right? Should I let him go? This is gonna impact army, coin, and religion. It's probably gonna bring coin down. No, let's not let him do that. Brothers of the Port Seed managed to destabilize the neighbor's country, strengthening your own position. Okay. Okay, having him with us was good. The river drop is flooding a large part of the country. Okay. We need help from the church and the army. If we say yes, it's gonna cost me religion and army a lot. If I say no, it's gonna cost a lot of peasants. Let's say no for now. There are too many people to execute. I need help from the army. Now, I can't impact my peasants in any way. In negatively, that is. How do I bring them up with one of these two decisions? Let's think about it. So there are too many people to execute. Let's not help him so that he won't execute the villagers, right? I guess I needed him to have that help. It seems that James lasted three years. Would you like to play Red Dwarf, my lord? Let's start with a small bet. Okay, I always like to spend some time with this guy, why not? So the dice are rolling, let's bet a little bit more. I raise you. Okay. Once again, I raise you. Oh my god, let's see. You have to bet the treasure! No, 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 show me now. Gabrosh Lustung slowly lifts the goblet. I won again! Okay, you won the coin. I'm not gonna go too far if I try to do these things, am I? And I promised that I would go over 30-ish years, or 40, in this game. Ah, uh, no. Alright, we lost a lot of coin with that. Wonderful. Guybrush can rule his own kingdom now with all that money. We would like to raise a new tax for the church. Share with the crown, of course. This is gonna bring my peasants down, so no. Let's take smart decisions from now on. A young woman claims that her son is in fact your bastard. Should we make this problem disappear? Yes, you should. We don't need a son anymore. Okay, we never heard of the woman again. Cereals are very cheap these days, my lord. You should adjust the price of the bread. Okay. Raise it slightly. Let's not bring the peasants all the way down. We need to build a new church. Nope. I can't. Oh my god, the religion. I have a gift for you, but it has a, has a price on it. You will have to prove me to me you are a worthy king. Oh man. I don't like these very mysterious things. It always ends up in a bad way. Govern 15 years with the elements of old age and we will talk again. Oh! Oh! With this buff. You won't be able to hear or understand properly. Scared? You try very hard to hide your ailment from the court. Oh my lord. Your fortress is too sick. We spoiled Bell the Pig's Tosher. What? What? As if it wasn't enough for all the randomness in this game, now this comes up. I have no idea what this guy wants. Your fortress is too. It probably means weak. We should build a tower. We don't have 
the coin. But actually, it's not gonna use too much of my coin, so why not? Alright, a little bit. Your church is weak and the people blasphemous. We have been playing this game for so long that we now already know these things. Alright, so... What should I say? Yes, so that he brings the religion up, I suppose. Yeah. Give the power to... Something. I think I should give power to the church over here and the Pope will give me some money. I think that's what's gonna happen. So let's say yes. Aha. We spoiled the kingdom of... Whatever. I don't even know. They're growing stronger every day. Okay, we should attack the kingdom of the south. That's what he means. Should we? Okay. This is the coldest winter of the last 30 years. You won't fool me with that. I already know that by memory. After... Something? No, I don't. Your people are starving. Okay, we should probably... Help them. Oh my god. I didn't know it would ruin so much of my coin! God damn it. Don't tell me! I see. A king? Yes, I am a king. Full of glory and regal composure, in front of him lay... A sword. I should have said a woman, because I need to start a romance. Bright and shiny, forged from hearth with fire, water and acid. Carry on. That will be 600 gold pieces. We have been through this before. It's not gonna impact my money too much, so I'm gonna say yes, because last time I said no. Whatever. Maybe this way you will not put a curse on me. People want to watch you waking up and going to the bathroom. Last time I said no. Let's try to say yes this time. Okay. I would like to conduct a mass to the memory of your father. Okay, go on. My father is important to remember. A great fire is destroying your castle, my lord! Save the garrison. Save the treasury. We need to save the garrison. Yeah. My army stat cannot go down any further. I would like to share with you some of the astronomical wonders my people discovered. Okay, this is gonna make religion suffer. Uh-huh. This is very interesting. Perfectly in line with the discoveries of Master Argos of Merep. What? I don't even have any idea how it's gonna impact the stats. Most likely we'll bring the religion down. Because they don't like this guy. He's a scientist. Blasphemy! The only truth is that the sun turns around us. God's creation. Blasphemy! Should I say yes? I guess I should sh say yes. Because the religion is really down. But the coin cannot suffer. We need to bring our coin up. Sire, we should spend some money to build a communal barn to prevent the mean. I can't. I really can't. The message says... Fate. A small village in the eastern baronies created a golem. Okay. Should I say general or no way? I don't want to spend any more coin, and I have no idea if I'm going to spend some coin saying general or no way. If I say no way, I'll stand still, and nothing will happen to me, right? But it's the baronies. We got to think about the baronies. I should probably go there and take their golem. Can I... God dang it! A slithering snake sneaks in your sleeve. I said yes, and that was it. I should have said the other way around. I thought I was going to acknowledge him. A new farming technique has considerably improved the harvest. What do you want to do with this income? Let's share it. It's mine. The greedy! Build a personal fortune. I didn't know about that objective, but hey. Harry the greedy! I have troubles with that word. Betrothed. 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 Declining might trigger a war. We don't want that, do we? So yeah, why not? Let's have a wedding. The Queen of the South is offering you 40 books. We should build a library. Should we? That is gonna spend a lot of coin. But for some reason, it brought my peasants up. I would like to sing a song for your majesty. It's called The Fool and His Majesty. Get out of here. Tire of that guy and his freaking bullcrap. Queen Vivian. How lovely. No. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see who the guy is. He came with a troop that dwarfed the city guard. 
Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just visiting for a couple of years, nothing definitive. Baldwin! Oh, the Baldwin is the guy that we acted as in the previous kingdom. Okay. So if I say yes, it's gonna impact my army? It impact everything negatively. Could we dismember Kaiprosh Lustang, please? This clown broke down a trebuchet. Kaiprosh! I was playing tennis with a giant, E1. Pay the army. If I say pay the army, I'm gonna spend my own coin. So, go away. Rex invites you to follow him. Oh god, here we go again. I could reject, you know, but come on, it's my pet, I love him. So, Rex brings you to the forest. Be nice. Rex stops in front of a bright orange mushroom. I don't remember what are the effects of a mushroom. But I am sure it's not really positive. YOLO. Clarity! From now on, you will know more precisely how your decisions affect the kingdom. Is it a gift or a malediction? I love this. So happy I got that mushroom. Wow! This is all I ever wanted. We cannot lose any more of our coins. Let's say no. We don't exactly know all. Sometimes it has, you know, a question mark. A question mark. We have reports of a dragon spreading destruction in the mountains. General! Or... That's crap. I remember this. I remember this from a previous kingdom. Let's say general, because I don't know how is this going to impact my coin. Actually, I don't even know how it's going to impact at all. Will it have a bad effect on it or a good effect? I don't even know. That's crap! Okay, good. It brought my coin up. The river drop is dry again. We should build a dam. We should, but that's gonna, as you can see, destroy my kingdom, so we must say no. There's a cholera outbreak in the capital. It's the Blue Death! Oh my god, it's gonna impact all my stats. I cannot say treat the population. I gotta go with this. This might kill my population. I hate when this happens. No matter what I would do, I would always lose the game in this answer over here. So there was no chance for Harry to go through that step. Let's see who's the next. James! The school is full of rats spreading rampant rumors. I have an informant. Should I investigate? Okay. This should be interesting. You know, this is my problem with rings. I'm one very curious. I always want to know what's going on. This is embarrassing. It involves the headmistress's sister Julie. Yes. Marianne. And Justice William, the executioner. I could use that. My lord, the wolves are eating our children. Can we hunt them? I will hunt them myself or you're bluffing. I will hunt them myself. The hunt was a success. We should have a very fine banquet tonight. Okay. Give the food to the people. Ah, uh, not really. Let's go and increase all the other stats. We need money to organize the annual spring festival. It will be amazing this year. Okay, just a little bit of coin. Would you like to marry the young princess of a neighboring kingdom? Yeah, that always brings all my stats up, so why not? The goldsmiths of the capital created a cartel to organize their trade. They want your approval. If I say yes, it's gonna bring up my coin. Yeah, I can do that. Religion is getting into dangerous levels. My king, I am with child. I will give you a son, as it's my duty. Felicia, now will you? You know, I'm not that bothered. We cannot bring our peasants up to a level where it will kill our kingdom, so let's be careful. All right, peasants, it's really up there, so we need to bring them down somehow. Queen Felicia was given, has given birth to a beautiful and healthy son. Who shall be the godfather? The priest. It cannot be the general, or we will lose the game. It must be the priest. All right. A foreign merchant is selling new farming tools. We should copy his wares. Should we? 
If we do, we will lose some money. Yeah, why not? We have a, a lot of coin right now. A fat guy with a fake beard and a red coat is giving gifts to a random children in the streets. Maybe it's Santa Claus, huh? Sir Thomas? Santa Claus, never heard of him? Not my concern! Executioner! I think we should call the Executioner because he will bring down some of my villagers, right? It was the other way around! What the heck? Why? He should be killing people. How did you know it was me? Oh, it's him! I just wanted to spread some hugs, love, and a lot of sweets. You will have to pay. You're weird. If I said you will have to pay, you will not bring me coin. I think you would have to pay with my coin. I'm willing to stay in your court in order to help the understanding between our people. No will benefit religion. Okay. The King of the West is offering us money to buy a small part of the country. No. We may have a problem. A monk has started to bite his brothers and it's spreading fast. I should most likely call the general. This is probably a case of lycanthropy. I don't deal with that. Werewolves? I command you! We need to bring our army down. General Arnulf of Dover puts the monks in prison. They confess under the torture that they are indeed werewolves. Werewolves! I don't think so, no. You should call that cruel lack of physical activity. Sure. Your people are eating too much. They are fat and lazy. You should raise the price of bread. Yeah, let's trade off peasants for coin. This kingdom is going very well when it comes to stats. They are pretty well balanced. My king, it seems your army has very poor hygiene. We should spend a bit on this problem. Should we? But if I do that, it will bring my army up there. So let's not. My lord, would you like to hunt some wild pigs? You know, these actions normally put me in danger. So let's not. The people of Western Village are afraid of goblins. Who should take care of this? Me? Or the church? I'll say me. Let's be careful with the villager stat. It's really up there. The tower of the basilica is falling apart. We need your help. No, you don't need my help. The folks of a remote village are teaching their children to spit on the king's men. Should we make an example? Yes, we should. Absolutely. Cut their throats. I would like to conduct new research on weapons and warfare. Will you help? I can, yeah. A trade-off between army and coin. Let's do that. This is the coldest winter of the last 30 years. After the weak harvest, your people are starving. So we should either give our supplies or say I can't help. Because my peasant stat is up there, let's say I can't help. I'm not entirely sure what's best to have the peasants or the coin down. Our country is at peace and business is good. You should keep the treasury full for harder times. That means we should probably keep some coin away. Stashed away. If we say yes, it's going to increase my money, but it's going to decrease all my stats. So I'll say no. Mm -hmm. There we go. I can think once in a while. I would like to conduct new research on the fable transmutation of lead into gold. Will I finance him? No. This cake will give you a taste of paradise, my lord. Lady Belle. Let's taste your cake, girl. Our cows are producing blood instead of milk! He wails in despair. Doctor or priest? Which one should I call? I'll call the doctor. Because my religion stat is really up there. How strange! It doesn't seem to be proper blood at all. Please investigate. Not very helpful. Please investigate. Let's organize a grand dinner with my visiting cousin. Cousin? Cousin. She's lovely! Oh. Is this a chance of getting a little bit of a... Fun. Sexy fun over here. Let's say yes, because this is gonna bring up my peasants, I believe. I hope you don't mind me staying for a little while. Your presence... is delightful. The queen seems to like you. No, your presence is delightful. It seems this cow business was an elaborate prank conducted by your son, the prince. Arrest him! 
arrest my own son? Prince William! Come over here, boy. Guards, guards, the king is a dis disciple of Satan? What the heck, my son, my own son is betraying me? On guard, traitor! Here we go. Your mother would be proud of your knacking skills. You will make a nice jumper. Let's see. I find hard to lose a battle every single time. Let's see if I can hit him by doing this. He escaped, okay. Let's now move back. Actually, saying this will put me on the same place. So let's do that. He also stayed on the same place. So, angry boar. Let's see if we can hit him. I think I did hit him once. But I'm not entirely sure if that was good or not. Alright, let's stay on the same place. There we go. He backed off as well. Let's now move in. He seems to have defended or something. Let's move back. And let's attack now. <laughs> New move! Unstoppable bull! I... You... Father! I just killed my son, didn't I? Forget! Forgive. I'm not entirely sure. If I forgive, it's gonna impact my religion stat. I think I prefer to risk that. It boosts up my religion stat a little bit more. And, well, forgiving my son is always a good idea, because if I die, he will be the next king, even though... At least this was a lesson for him to become a king. Too much sugar, my lord, he will kill you. I never, ever understand what is this about. It's a good way to die. I can either risk it, or just stop myself from eating sugar. Sure, why not? I'm going for a walk in the garden. Would you like to come, my lord? Miss Taraskol. This is the queen's cousin, isn't it? My pleasure. My pleasure. Miss Taraskol brings you to the garden. She seems unsettled and nervous. She talks softly. The queen despises me. I'm sure. She talks behind my back and looks at me so strangely. It may be my fault. You tell Miss Taraskol that you love her so profoundly it must be obvious to the queen. It seems my little serpent is trying to get out of the cave for a little while. Oh my lord, what can I say? Me too? No, I don't think so. <laughs> you will have to fight for me. You mean... Uh, what? F fight, fight who? Fight her? I'm fighting a girl. <laughs> Unexpected proposal? What? She's trying to marry me? I need a kiss. You care for me. I need a cast. This is one of the objectives that we had. Nice! Lover, you won't be able to say no to your... Paramour. The church disapproves, but it mesmerizes your people. Wow! I discovered a young genius painter. His works is a true sign of the divine in this world. Bring him in. My name is Gregorius. I will change the world with my art and your money. Um, okay. Oh my god, my religion stat. I would like to spend some time studying horticulture. Okay. My lord, would you care to taste my cake? Uh, sure. Uh, it was a very good cake. What, what next? Would you like to divorce your wife? Uh, yes? What's the people are rebelling against the last vicissitudes of the church. You have to escape. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna die, right? <laughs> These events are so hard to survive because they bring your stat down constantly. You have to be so quick and not all of the events that show up, not all the cards, will impact religion in a way. So you're kind of rushing through it. Probably make the wrong decisions. But hey, James the Lover! And the new record in how many years have I ever last? I guess to survive longer, you just need to reject all these events, you know, the cool stuff that can happen. And I'm a sucker for those. I, I just cannot stop myself from trying new events. I love it. That's what I love about this game. Hear about the conspiracy. 
that is going to be the next objective. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be for the next episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, don't forget to like the video. And if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. My name has been The Sparrow's Journey. Have a good day. Bye-bye.